But I want to read something that was brought to my attention and share with you briefly what was laid on my heart and allow the Lord to do his wonderful work and explain what the spray paint was for. The Bible says in Luke's Gospel 7, in verse 12, Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. You getting that? There's a dead man. He is the only son of a widow. And he's dead now. And much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord, when Jesus saw her, he had compassion on her and said unto her, Weep not. And he came, Jesus came, and touched the beard. And they that bare him stood still. Now what did Jesus come and touch? What is the beer? It is the coffin. Jesus stopped them in the procession. There's a dead man, which is the only son of a widow. Jesus sees the mother weeping and he has compassion on her. And Jesus comes and he touches the beer. He touches the coffin. And they that were carrying the coffin stood still. And Jesus said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak. And he delivered him to his mother. So Jesus interrupts a funeral procession, if you will. And he came by and he touched the coffin after he seen the widow mother crying. As you can imagine, because the widows of that day, it was dependent upon the family to take care of them. And if they didn't have any family, then they were left at the mercy of possibly the churches or whoever else would see about them. And most of the time they were neglected. Paul had that in some of the teachings that, you know, they were talking about. You know, what about them? But here is a widow. And Jesus has compassion on her. And he tells her not to weep. And the thought came to me right where Jesus touched that coffin. That is what police officers or crime scene investigators will go and write the letters A-O-I at a specific point when the tragic or the accident happened. The A-O-I is the area of impact. And Christ made an area of impact when he touched that coffin. Amen. And tonight when some of you were worshiping the Lord, that's what I went and did. I wrote A-O-I because Jesus, was, this was an area that Jesus was stepping in and He, this was an area of impact that he was touching your heart that you felt free to worship the Lord. Some of you have had some areas of impact tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. And on. so you got some green spots that you can look out here for as long as they're here until the rain washes them away. And you can say, Jesus came by. That is the area of impact that he touched somebody. Amen. And you need to get in the place, I want to be that somebody. Amen. I want to be that somebody that Jesus wants to touch. Oh, can he come by and see and have compassion on you tonight? Yes. Because he has sent forth labors into this harvest. Oh, we might be few in number, but that's all right. Because the harvest is plenty and he said the labors are few, but thank God for the labors that are going out. Thank God for the few that decided to take the little worship songs even though we were having trouble and we were being battered with it. But God still came by and he still touched different souls that were in the congregation tonight. And he touched my soul. I hope that before it's over, before we say the last prayer, that God is touching your soul. That you're going to have an AOI tonight. That you're going to have an area of impact of Jesus coming by and touching you. And he's telling you to arise.
Arise from the dead state that you're in. Arise from the dead places that you feel that this is all that you're ever going to have. No, my friend. You don't have to. Because when he speaks life, hallelujah, you're going to come alive. When he says arise, you're coming up. Amen. There ain't enough devils in hell to keep you there. Amen. But you got to call on him. There's something about that name Jesus. That's You've right. got to call on him. You have that part to do. I can't do it for you, but I can tell you there's an area of impact that Jesus wants to reach out and touch you tonight. But are you willing to be touched? Are you willing to be touched by him? Do you want to know Jesus? Do you really want to know him as a follower of Jesus Christ? I'm not a fan, but I am a follower of Jesus. A fan says, yeah, I know that he came to this earth and I know all the stats. I kind of know where he lives. I know all about him, but I've never met him personally. That's a fan. But a follower of Jesus is one that has allowed Jesus to come by and touch them and affect them and change them. You know Him for yourself because you have a personal relationship with Him. Hallelujah! He made an area of impact on my heart and life 21 years ago. And if I see December, it'll be 22. But happy birthday, Mark 17. God made an area of Amen. impact in those lives. Amen. 10 years, 12 years, 15 years, 3 days. Yep. There was an area of impact. It's not about... The, uh, the quantity, because you can serve the Lord X, X amount of years and do zip zero. Not grow. But it's the quantity, it's the, 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 the investment that you make in the relationship. And when Jesus Christ came by that coffin, and he seen that widow mother, and he had compassion on her, and he touched that coffin, he made an area of impact on that young man's life, and he told him, arise. And guess what? What did the Bible say? He rose and he started speaking. The area of impact. 